Hi, I'm Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. What we're going to do today is show you how to select the proper transducer for your HDS Gen 2 Touch and Gen 3 units. The process is the same for both units, so what we're going to do today is use this HDS Gen 3 12 unit. And what we're going to do is the unit's on, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit our Pages button at the top of the unit. It's going to take us to our home screen, and here we're going to select Settings. With, from our settings menu, we're going to go ahead and select sonar, and it gives us several options here. And the one that we're most interested in is the installation option. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see here in transducer type, it says unknown. This is the way your unit should come from the factory. So what we want to do is touch in the unknown box, and it gives us quite a list of transducers here. Generally, the unit that you purchase is going to come with an 83200 skimmer transducer, and that is our HST WSBL transducer. So we want to go ahead and select that, and as you can see, it populates the field automatically. From here, we want to hit Save. Now what we've done is we've told the unit which transducer it has. It knows how much power to send to that transducer, and it also knows that since this is an 83200 transducer, when we chirp this transducer, we're only going to be able to get the high and medium frequencies. Now your unit's ready to take to the water.